Now they turn five weeks old today. They're five weeks old now. Um, they get a week off from their deworming, so they don't need a deworming dose this week. They get their next one at six weeks. So. You clip your tongue out, buddy. Um, they're doing a lot better with their puppy food, too. Robin is much more interested these days. Um. <laughs> Paris is 12 days away. Um. Uh, for delivery on her duty. She's doing really, really well. She's her belly's getting big, but she is handling it like a champ. Ah, uh -uh. getting choopy. You're getting choopy. You're getting choopy now. Um, these are awake a lot more during the day, so they're, they're getting into a lot more. They're, um, they're doing a lot more. They don't sit still. <laughs> they're just a lot, you know, they're like when a toddler almost like a little twelve month old. I know. I just He turns 40 today. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Bits and Morgan. Good morning. He's going to make this as difficult as he can. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's no one to That's all from Roman. <laughs> Be nice to her. Be nice to her. She's your mama. I know. Well, it's just that's what they do. You're such a good mom. You are such a good mom. You're such a good mom. You're such a good mom. You're such a good mom. I think mom needs a little. She needs you to ease up on her a little. Owie, Roman, that would hurt. Oh, you can teach them. Oh, you see. What do you see? Beating up Hong Kong over here. He hit her, hit her paw in his mouth and he just like chomped down on it. It looked so owie. You know, poor Hong Kong. And she didn't even flinch. She was such a
minutes of butter. Oh, I forgot to tell you happy birthday. It's Drew's 40th birthday at my home. I'll be right back. Be good, Papa.
Hi, sweetie. Hey, you want to help me with something? Can you go close our bedroom door? I think we've got a surprise for Dad. Aw, Lori, what a wonderful way to wake up. <laughs> Firefly, you're right. Uh, I closed it. I closed it. Earlier, um, earlier Roman, he was... Um, Grabbing it. onto Pom Pom's paw and just chomping down on it. I closed it. All right. What is that? It's Dad's birthday. Can I go rock it to my right? Yeah, so what we're going to do is. What is he doing? I'm going to pop this banner for his kitchen top. I don't want to just see it. What is this? That's something one of you kids need. One year. <coughs> that is it, Hunky. Okay, oh, well, hang on, it's all tangled. Uh, how about this bed? It's 40. Yeah. It's a special bracket. No, it doesn't have six on it. It just says, we smokes year old.
So this is the this is the second circle. So today is Drew's 40th birthday, and this is his um, birthday banner that I got for him. It says, Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes. You're old. Oh, hey, Lori, I will. I'll let him know.
Okay. Look at your two steps. Okay. Very good. Okay. Is that one?
a happy birthday. It's a Holy Smokes Holy Smokes Daddy. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You're so sweet. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Holy smokes, I'm old. I love it. Yes. Thank you so much for helping, Bella Bella. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I see that. That was your chips. Because you were hungry, hungry. Mm -hmm. You're so sweet. I was like, we can't stay like the only spots of the bay or so in there. Oh, bingo. Right here. I can't wait for Bradley and Maine to see us. <laughs> Do they know? No. Oh, no. I think I'll be home. what it says. <laughs> But that was like really cute. Oh man. It was a pain when I cleaned it up. Like, really cute. I didn't just have to slip water on. It's just hanging already done. Oh, I see. So I only have just now. It was a single mess at both ends. Yeah. I don't think so. Like, coconut fridge. Bradley was asking me yesterday. He was like, So do you feel like you're 40 years old? Uh, like, you know, Bradley, no, I don't. It feels just like yesterday when I was dating your mom and turned 30. <laughs> no, that's not so. That means something in the right. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go open it. Oh, yeah, we have to. Get out. 
Hi, Papa. And well, I don't want to put the bed in there. It's bed. It kind of takes away from even being able to play with the mirror and stuff. Oh, thank goodness, um, the stream that I ended earlier. So YouTube cuts, the, they cut off the footage anything after 12 hours. Um, and so I try to reset the stream every 12 hours so that we can keep it going 24 hours a day. Uh, but if, when it goes over 12 hours, if it gets to like 18 hours, um, sometimes it won't process it at all and we'll lose the entire video. And so I didn't, want to, I didn't want to lose the first 12 hours of that one because we did a lot yesterday and the puppies did a lot of fun and silly things. And so I wanted to go through and time stamp it all. I'm such a good girl. I'm such a good girl.
You down the pump home. My arms get tired. Oh man, I did a pretty good job centering that. Yeah, you did. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> then, well, I didn't have adult eyes. I didn't know if you've heard right. of it. Yeah. Bella for her health. Bella was. She's just a big help. Well, hold on, Speedy. I'm trying to. There's something I want to do. I, I will be right in, Speedy. I will be right in. Oh, 
Oh, Drew, we have a new moderator. I had to tell you. We have a new moderator. I think it'd be really happy. Um, I yesterday after we had our conversation and we were doing the live stream, I thought about your group that just kind of came up and there's only like 12 people on, and so I just didn't want to do like the order that I'm going to change the time. So, um, and then I said, I said something else like that, we had like 35 people on, and we did 17 of them, so. I think we have two people on since we do the people who uh, other uh, round one. So, but I want to let you know we did find we found an extra set of hands. Do you want to play with the stockings? We have another type of stocking downstairs and another type of another extra. I should grab the other kinds that we have the two different types and they can have a choice. Good boy, Roman. Good go potty, buddy. Good boy.
Right here. Oh, good morning, Heather. It's Drew's birthday. Drew turns 40 today. Yeah, so he's he's having a bit of a midlife crisis about it. He has been for the last couple of years, actually. I'll take a picture of the banner that I just put up for him. Oh, 
Here's a picture of the banner that I hung up. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It says, Holy smokes, year old. The lights. Uh, good morning, John. to the dog park, but she loved it. Sixty one degrees. Oh, man, you're lucky. <laughs> that sounds like heaven. Goodness, Roman. <laughs> He's got such a voice on him. Yes, we do, we do know who their families are. Roman is going to New Jersey. Um, he's got he's got two awesome parents, uh, no kids, two parents, um, and then Blue is going. I think to Kentucky is the state, and he's got he's also got two parents and two little brothers that are going to be perfect for him. Negative four, Heather. Oh my goodness, I thought it was cold here, and here it's it's a high of thirty two. So, oh darn it! I'm sorry, the sound is cut now.
Uh, Heather says happy birthday, Drew. Drew says thank you, Heather. But <laughs> you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. I wish we could have the computer in here. It's we spend so much time standing at the computer. Nice but good. <laughs> oh, Rome, I love you. You want just a second, bud? Pom pom, did you scratch our girl? Hi, I know I want to come play with you. I want to come play. Where did you go? It's me just clipping your nails. I tried to clip his nails over this. Oh my goodness. I love these jeans. Good boy, Blue. Good boy. Oh, sorry. We have quick stop to use if we if we get their nails too close and they start bleeding. I don't know if you've ever gotten their quick before, but you know, it's awful to get them to stop bleeding. So it was really awesome stuff. It's this powder. Um, and you just dip their nail into the powder when, when the quick is bleeding. You just dip it into the powder and it just stops it right there. It's incredible. It's awesome. Can't recommend it enough. You're such a good boy, Roman. I mean, such a good boy that Blue wants to do it. Hi, Blue. Hi. These are so goofy. Clip these nails are long. They're getting long, buddy.
I'm trying to get all your fur out of the way so I you know what I'm clipping. It's like the one disadvantage to cavaliers and their long toe fur. It's like clipping your nails can usually become a pain if you're trying to try to see them well so you can. He's so, he's so, uh, he's like a sack of potatoes. With a loud voice. You need to clip these toenails, Roman. I just don't want to clip you too. Or blue. <laughs> Over here all day long. You want to put your hands safely. Hello. What's up, Roman? I think everything looks good. Let's double check these ones. I did a new one. We were being feisty this morning. Mouthiness come from all of a sudden. Uh, uh, uh. Um, you're gonna lose that privileges if you're that mouthy. nails are so soft and um, flexible that I just use the infant clippers. Um, like they're not they're not strong enough. Good boy blue. They're not strong enough. Their nails are not strong enough 
for like a Dremel or um, a tool like that. And so the other option would be to file them. They're just not. They're just not um, hardened yet. They're getting there though. Like probably next week, I have to pull up it real quick. Oh, just teased it in my mouth. Um, um, I think sometimes they would just like to push out their poops without you sucking it out of their butts. We're only used to like growl at her when she do that. We turn around and look at her. Like, Mom, let me poop. Sometimes the boy wants to poop. I did his front paws this morning, earlier this morning, but he was so like excited that I couldn't get to his back. So I'm trying to make sure that his fronts were good. Double check blue because it's been a couple of days. Good boy going poop in the potty. It's such a good puppy. It's such a good puppy. I'm so proud of him. I mean, they're only they turned five weeks old today. When we bring our puppies home at eight weeks, they take a longer to potty train when they're, they're older. It's probably why we begin it so young because it just it seems so in, like inefficient or it's not really a good word, but. Um, they they pick it up so quickly if we introduce it early that it just seems really counterproductive to just to let them kind of poo and pee wherever they want and, and let their family worry about housebreaking them. Like it just seems counterproductive because there's it require it takes a lot of work to clean all that up and to keep them clean and their pen clean and to keep our house from smelling like poop that um it's less work for us to train them into the into to the pine um but because of their age because they haven't been exposed to like bad habits they haven't been they haven't established any sort of routines um when we introduce potty training right away they pick it up really really fast because they're already looking you know as mom stops pottying them They've got to figure out where to go. What 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 are they going to do now? And so when we have the tray right there and we're ready to pop in and be like, you can go over here. Um, if anything, it probably helps them because they're not just like, okay, I'll just poo over there. So um, we have it because we don't really do anything as far as pooping, as far as number two goes. Um, we just do the we just train them with the pottying into the into the pellets and then they poop in there by themselves. That's all I know. They teach themselves how to poop, how to poop and buy. Boy, you are so handsome. You're so handsome. Oh, uh, he got his ear. What are these bunnies? It's so cute. Oh, I know. Oh, hi, Jean. Thank 
to answer some questions. Um, when they have their, when they have white nails, the quicks are really easy to see. I already clipped them, so it's kind of. So where the quick is, it's kind of, um, on the puppies, where the quick is, it's, um, you see like the, uh, I'm trying to describe the color. It's like more solid, kind of opaque-ish, like cloudy. And then um, where it's just like their end, the, the end of their nails right there, um, it's white. And so I just try to clip it off within that white and then it won't get to their quick. It's when they have the black ones, the black nails. Really. Luckily both these puppies have all white nails. Um, Blenums usually do. I think we've had one Blenum that had a black nail. Um, the rubies usually have black nails. Uh, black and tans usually have black nails. Daisy, I think Daisy's half and half. Um, and somebody else asked if it hurts pom pom when they chew on her. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does hurt her. It hurts her like it hurts us. And um, she's just very patient. I don't know how. She, I don't know how she doesn't react a lot of times because when they chomp down on me when I was clipping the nails. Just now, when Roman chomped down on me, that was that, was, that hurt. Um, I just think Pom Pom is a really good mom. Uh, she's blues bothering her now. Yeah, my mom comes in by that. Um, so Pom Pom's personality, she's a more um, she's a more submissive. Uh, personality in the first place and so she's kind of used to that role that position she's used to kind of having to take some of the crummier um I'm quite sure how to wear this she's she's used to being kind of um lower on the totem pole and as far as like the pack of dogs is concerned and so i think when her puppies are um doing things that hurt or annoy her. I think she's just kind of used to dealing with that sort of stuff because um, like when we get puppies or Macchiato here, they, Macchiato is a good example. So Macchiato was a puppy when um, Paris and Pom Pom were, when we had Paris and Pom Pom, well I mean they were older puppies and Macchiato was a little, he was a shite head and he would grab on her ears, her tail. I mean, he grabbed everything and she would just tolerate it. Whereas Missy and Spike and Robin would just like yell at him. They would turn around and growl and snarl and pop pom pom, pom pom. She would just stand there and she would just let him uh, chew on her ears. Poor thing. So I think we have Macchiato through that phase now, fortunately. That was annoying. <laughs> She's like, this again? Oh, sweetie. She's getting to that uh, that point where she's she's starting to get ready to spend the last time with them. And she's just, she's not like responding to them. She says she, I should say she's not engaging him when he's doing things that she doesn't like. She doesn't engage him. Whereas when we have a more dominant personality of Missy or Robin, even Daisy, who is a little more timid, but even Daisy, she'll she'll snarl at him. Which isn't a bad thing, that just kind of teaches them manners. And you'll see, you will see her, especially like right now, where she seems like she just wants to be left alone. She will start to growl and snarl at him. Hey, Lou. You want to come and snuggle and leave her alone? You snuggle me? I should, uh, I have a lot of, uh, and a lot of chat on my phone so I can see it more easily.
All right. I'll just glance up there. Oh, hi, Firefly. I didn't I didn't realize that that question was from you. Yeah, what you see is a very stoic, patient pom pom. <laughs> Oh, and look, those being sweet now. You just snuggle in. You got the point. You got the point. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Yeah, see, there he is. Are you going to get up and leave? I, I felt her like when she realized he was right there, I felt her all like start to, like, oh, maybe I don't want to be here. She's a good girl. She's been fussing to come back to our room to sleep with them with us at night. Because when we walk them, um, they sleep they sleep in our room leading up to delivery, and then um, that that way we can catch like an early labor or an, a middle of the night um, labor. But um, then when they well when we well litter, they stay in our bedroom there for a little while as they acclimate, and mom can kind of. That first week, she kind of just she just focuses on them, but after that, she'll start coming back up into bed with us. And when they start hitting this age, she wants to leave the pen all together and go back to her bedroom and and go hang out in her bed. Yes, what she gets to do, she does get to do. We let her, we bring her back in there, and if anything, it probably makes it a little bit worse just because she's. We don't do like a salad. Oh, there's my phone. We don't do a salad like clean cut. We just let her mosey back in. And so then she wants to go back and if she had her way, she would bring her puppies back to her bed. Moment is that we're cold over here. Let's get the <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. I was able to move as well. He didn't wake up. What's up, Pom Pom? Oh, good girl. I can open this down a little bit. It's not staying at the ceiling. Oh, um, also, since I have some more, there's some more people on. Um, if anybody's interested, um, many of you may know that we're planning to live stream um, Paris's delivery when she has her puppies on December, or she's due December 30th. So when um, she goes into labor, we're gonna stream the delivery of her puppies like we did with Robin and Daisy. Um, we wanted to do it with Pom Pom, but as you know, that just didn't work, didn't work out. But um, we wanted to be sure we did it with Paris and she's going to be having a big litter, um, and so it's it's going to be a busier stream. And with how, given how busy the Robin and Daisy stream, like going going, if we're to take any um, judgment based on Robin and Daisy's delivery streams, um, we expect that the chat will be really active and. Um, full of bots and spam, <laughs> uh, a lot of X-rated material. And we have a bunch of filters set up, but for some reason it doesn't catch. I mean, I have a whole bunch of words filtered out, but they still pop through somehow. Um, and so we have Heather as a wonderful moderator. You do a great job, Heather, if you're still on. Um, but we don't want, we don't want to overwhelm her and we don't want her to feel like she, it's all on her when we have Harris, Harris's puppies coming. Um, and so we were looking for um, anybody who might be interested in moderating our live chat, um, specifically um, for Paris's delivery, but we, you would moderate, moderate you, we would make you as a moderator and um, 
you can just like whenever you pop in, um, you would have the moderator tools to to clean anything up if it needs to be cleaned up um, or ban trolls. Um, on the delivery streams, we tend to get more trolls. Um, and so it would just be really, really helpful if we had a couple extra hands. And so um, we're not asking for like, for you to set your life aside for the whole labor and delivery. Um, more just like if you're, if you're planning to watch it when it happens and you don't mind um, just keeping an eye on the chat and helping Heather um, ban or mute or delete or um, just kind of keep things uh, organized and clean. We would really, really appreciate some volunteers. We, um, Lori, Lori, Lori M, she volunteered. So she's going to be one of our moderators too. Um, but we thought with Paris's delivery coming up and she's going to have a big litter. So it's probably going to be a lengthy delivery. It's going to be long. Um, and you don't have to be there the whole time. It's just like whenever you, whenever you're there, it, basically it, we're just asking if, if you have those abilities and you wouldn't mind using them, um, we, we are asking for anybody's um, willingness. We appreciate it immensely. But like with Paris, so Paris is this specifically, it's kind of specific to this just because, um, or I guess I'd say it's coming up now because Paris is having a big litter um, and it's her first litter. And when it's our first letter, the first couple of puppies, we probably won't be able to pay a whole lot of attention to the chat because, um, like, as, the, as they're coming out, she doesn't really know, like, with Pom Pom, um, Roman came out first, and as he was coming out, she didn't have a clue what was going on, and um, I caught him, and after I had him, I showed him to her, and she still wanted nothing to do with him. And so it took some time. It's kind of actually why we didn't get the live stream going because we were just so busy with um, with getting her kind of on board with what was going on. That oh, so we we're so busy trying to um, trying to we're we're just distracted. And so um, that would help a lot if we had some extra moderators to be around um poor heather it's when we only have one it's just whenever we are on or whenever heather is on is when things kind of get looked at and so if we had a couple more it would be really helpful because because then everybody's kind of everybody's time on kind of overlaps then and we don't want anybody to be feel like it's a job or anything for a chore, so let me know if anyone is interested. Um, oh, and just in case, I think I worded that a little confusingly. Um, it's it's coming up now, but you'll stay moderator. You'll we'll keep you on as moderator if you don't mind. I mean, you can of course quit at any time, but if you don't mind staying on as moderator, we're happy to keep you on. Yep, I realize they, they all do. It's, it's so annoying. What's annoying is that um, same one come back, you know, like no matter what we, how we block up or I don't know how they get through. Thank you. Welcome. Why don't you come here, Papa? You come with me instead of <laughs> stepping all over blue. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Diddy. Hi, Boo. Oh, I bet this is real cozy. I bet real cozy for you. I have a nail that I need to clip. Oh, Drew? Yeah. Is my AirPod case over? Oh, it is. Could you? I'm so sorry. Could you do me a huge favor? Sure. 
Oh, uh, well, you know, I think I got it. What's up? Just could you slip those into my case? Yes, sir. Oh, you're using it. Ah. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, you First gift that Elizabeth gave me for my 40th birthday. You are really, really great for you. Really. The best. Really terrific. Just fantastic. But the four year old loses total disasters. Everyone loses. Believe me. Yeah, that is. You fired. That's something that you guys melted last Christmas with Crow Sandy. Yeah, what is this? You, you know what I've noticed too about yeah, what is Roman? This? It's really awesome. Oh. Just in general. He doesn't have like he doesn't have like the goopy eye drainage that a lot of campers have. Which oh, is yeah. nice because his face being so white. white. Yeah, you don't want all that goopy. Is that, yeah, that he doesn't is... have like all the stains. He doesn't have all the eye stains, you know, that, that? a lot of the worms get. Well um so you know those those ornaments that you made with Grandma Sandy, where you took the little beads and put them into the metal picture, so awesome. and then you put them in the oven and they melted into ornaments. These those little, little like those eye drains. These are all the leftover are beads. So it's, hard to get out of them. Oh. So it's really nice that Roman does that. Is this thing still dripping? Um, a little bit. Where's that pee? What? That that piece you wrote. Oh, I have my water. Um, I was to somebody asked the other day about um, the possibility of these guys going home together. And so I was um, talking about how we've had we've had puppies go home together in the past, litter mates go home. Um, but we don't usually recommend it. And like as close as these guys seem, um, we don't usually recommend or I should say we almost never recommend it. Um with the exception of a few case by case situations. Um, and one of one of the viewers that happened to be watching uh, mentioned that there's actually a term for it and we had no idea, we had no idea there was actually a word for it. Um, and it's called kennel mate syndrome or litter mate syndrome. And basically what happens is that um, and the way the way that we've experienced the way that we have seen it play out is they're really 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 close and when they go home to their families when they go home to their families as an individual puppy they're going into a new environment that they need to learn the rules about they need to learn the routine they need to learn the people they need to learn um just about everything that there is um and then they they're applying what they do know like you know potty training any commands that we've taught them um, that sort of thing. But when you have, let me, let me back up. So when you, you have that, in, that puppy like Blue is going home, he's going home to that new environment and he's going to be looking to his, his, the alphas in his pack for what do I do? How do I behave? What's, what are the rules? Um, especially Cavaliers, especially they need a strong leader. And um, so if you, add a puppy, you take that individual puppy that's going home to his family and you add one to it and you send them both home together, they're less likely to be looking to the alpha in the family, the parents, the mom and dad, um, husband, wife, however they are in the family. Um, they're going to be, well, they, they, they won't just be looking to the alphas. They'll be looking to each other. And this is where a lot of bad habits will get picked up. If, like, if they have an accident, for instance, an individual puppy going home to a family by themselves, they have an accident, um, mom and dad can come along, show them, you know, what they're supposed to do and correct it. But when you have 
two litter mates. If one of them has an accident, the other one might come running over and they might play in it. And then they'll see what fun that is. And then they'll play in it some more. And then the other one will poop. Like it, it just, it can snowball. And, um, and then to add to that, I, I always tell people, or we, we always tell people, or we urge people to, when things like that, when and something extreme happens, especially if it's negative, to try your hardest not to react because um, really any reaction, it excites them. And they think that like, oh, that was exciting. Like I really got a, a rise out of mom and dad. Um, like I know when I've walked in and seen like mud everywhere, I'm sure the dogs loved my reaction because it was not typical and it was new and exciting and different. Um, and so that's why we don't usually recommend sending litter mates home together because we want, we want to set you up for the best success and, um, puppyhood, the puppy stage is difficult. It requires, um, a lot of, uh, um, it requires, requires a lot of commitment as I'm sure many of you know um, and so we just when you add a second puppy and when you add a second puppy that is needs to learn the very same things in just as rigid of a manner um, and when I say rigid I mean like um, routine like you just don't you don't stray from the routine they need it to they need to be very regimented um, it's not strict but just strict um, yeah just regimented is a good word um, but so when you add another puppy to that, you can't control nearly as much as you are able to control when you have one. Um, when you have one, it's very, you know, like I mentioned, with if they have an accident in the house, you can control how that kind of plays out. When you add another puppy in there, when you add this independent variable that can do whatever they want, um, and then the other puppy is going to feed off of that. And so it can just, um, it can go really well and go really really well like if you can survive the puppy stage and you're committed and you're able to stay regimented and um if you have a plan in place of of how you're going to tackle it um it can go really well and we've seen people take two puppies that are the best of buds and end up making a great family um it's just difficult and has a lot of has a lot of potential problems that you want to be aware of. And so that's why we don't really, that's why we don't usually recommend it. It's not something we would, we would suggest, but if it's something that you're, you want to do, if it's something, if you wanted in particular to get two puppies who are litter mates and bring them home and do the puppy stage all at once, it's, it's definitely something you can't do. Um, it's just not going to be the same experience. Just, um, we just like to make sure families realize that it's a it's a much different um, experience and it's going to be more difficult. But I, th I thought it was really interesting. I did not know that there was like an actual term for it. I just I just thought it was I just thought it was something we had noticed. It was a good point. They are out cold. You're so sweet. I wish I had more to give you right now. Um, it's like sometimes we're really busy when we had 12 puppies that were nine days apart. And then other times we just have two sleeping puppies. You can't make You have to make up, but you and you and you and Violet. I love you. You're crazy like a baby. I don't want to put them down. It's so hard to put them down. Mm -hmm. 
And so Roman is going all the way to New Jersey, which we're in the, we're kind of by like the St. Louis, it's like very like central USA. And so New Jersey is quite a hike and they're driving too, my goodness. Oh, he's so cute. I hate putting my coffee down next to their potty tray. If you are looking for something a little more exciting than sleeping puppies, um, I just made a posted, um, I made public the stream from yesterday, from like this time yesterday. Um, that's available for viewing. And so then you can kind of skip around to the interesting parts instead of kind of waiting for them to wake up. Oh, It's so hard to get them alone. It's so hard. Missy is finally, finally coming out of heat. Um, Spike and Macchiato are starting to kind of calm down. They're not nearly as, they're not nearly as like crazy when they see her. I can't wait for Paris' babies. I can't wait to have like little bitty bitty babies again and to have a whole bunch of them. I'm so excited for Paris. Yeah.
I will let Drew know you said um, happy birthday. The hair pooped. I don't know what they did that was so wild and crazy, but they pooped. I don't want to put them down. I don't want to put you down. Love you. I'm so curious. What are they doing all night that they're so tired? Because they're five weeks old now. They're they're awake more. They don't sleep as much. They don't sleep as much. Once they wake up though, um when they wake up they'll probably have a lot more energy. They've been staying awake a lot longer and doing a lot more when they are awake these days. Finish getting these nails. A quick stop if you if you're a person or I should say if you're a family who had if you have a dog with black nails um we cannot recommend quick stop enough it's on the amazon it's uh it's spelled q-u-i-k-s-t-o-p but if you get there quick when you're clipping nails um, if you just dip it into this powder, it stops the bleeding as Drax. It's really, really awesome. I actually, ha I had to use it for the first time. We've had it for like a year and we haven't had to use it. And then I was trimming Daisy's nails a few weeks ago and, um, I have, I got her, um, I got her quick on one of her black tone nails and so we had to pull it out and we hadn't even opened it yet and she was bleeding and but once we dipped it in there. I just like, we just took her paw and just dipped it into the jar and pulled it out and had the powder on it and it was all done bleeding. It was really incredible how that worked. Sometimes I can tell like what they've been doing. Oh, somebody was trying to rip up a toy.
He's waking up a little bit. <laughs> He's starting to. Over Romans once he falls back asleep. Oh, hi, Sue. Hi, Lisa. You've got the, the blanket all pushed up. I'm trying to straighten it out. Okay, buddy. Okay. He's, he looked like he was about to throw up, and I was like, oh, let's get him to the bathroom. That's always one of the kids.
cover and how it's boy Roman we're gonna have to keep this banner for a while yeah, I, sent, I sent a picture of that uh, Tim sent me like a a bunch of uh, gifs. Uh -huh. They're all like you know, your old gifs. And so uh, I'm laughing at it. I got what it was just put up before I got up. So, okay. I thought that was pretty good. I'll go there with you. Next. Oh, I love how much Roman loves tug ropes. He's he's the best dog. Can we just keep him? Oh, Drew. Thank you, Sue. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you all. So like you know, like this is the first birthday that we had with the community, so it's just a, it's different to share it with so many people. He's a little bashful. I'm a little bashful, especially about to turn forty. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot, a lot of pressure. Not pressure, but it's a lot of like. Yeah, the first birthday that I share with the community is my fortieth. <laughs> yeah. Hence the holy shit you're old. Yeah, holy shit you're old. What's going on with the dog? Are you hungry or any dog? Oh, thank you. Wow, that's
pandemia. Oh, good, it's blue. Come on, Paris. Yeah, come on, you wait. Soft brown over here. So everybody can see pregnant Paris. Big. Come on, let's go. Here is. So today's the 19th. She's due on the 30th. So she's got 11 days to go. Her due date was actually her, when we were calculating her due date, it kind of straddled the 29th and 30th. So with that in mind, she's like a good, she's a week and a half or so. What's your friend in Paris? <laughs> Look at that big old belly. <laughs> She's like giving you guys a <laughs> those letters. <laughs> She's ready for puppies. I'm always so sad to shave their belly for 
think that's a nice fur too. I don't know if it's really coming in. Who Paris is such a pretty cavalier. Of our dogs, I think Paris is my favorite Blenheim. I think Daisy's a, a gorgeous tricolor. I think it would be hard, hard to find a prettier tricolor. Macchiato, I think we could, I think, Macchiato, I think we could have a cure black and tan. Here, how about this? What did you get into, Paris? What's all of your likes? You are much, this is a much different experience than holding pom pom. So, um, for those of you who don't know, Paris is Paris is actually pom pom's litter mate. The whole litter mate syndrome thing we we're talking about. We we brought litter mates home ourselves. Um, Paris and pom pom. Um, it's kind of actually how we were able to put together some of the families that had taken home puppies, and then our experience bringing home puppies. Um, fortunately, we were able to. Yeah, you know, we were prepared enough that. We we're building to any problems in the bud. You can feel a poop coming on, Roman. Though I think they probably have to poop because they're not quite used to that sensation because they're used to mom, like mom just coming along and, oh, I can hear it. <laughs> they're used to mom coming along and making it come out for them. And so a lot of times when they have to poop, they don't really know quickly what to do. And so they'll just start dragging their butts in the pellets. Is Blue getting your tail? Is Blue getting your tail? I won't let him hurt it, okay? I won't let him hurt it. She's not there yet. She's got 11 solid a day of not being bothered by puppies like that. Yeah, So poor Missy, Missy used to have a very beautiful tail. Um, you know, the cavalier tails with the pretty long fur. Um, and then I did something, I made a huge mistake. Um, Missy's deliveries are always really messy. And when I went to Chamber Valley, I thought I was being smart. And I trimmed up like the underside of her tail because it always gets like soaking wet with fur. And that was her sec for her second litter. And she's since had her third litter last summer. And her tail is still not growing back. It just it just kind of looks it just kind of looks like that. And so I feel terrible because it's all my fault. Her she used to have a beautiful tail until I cut it off. The fur. So I cut the fur off.
And she's like, she's got a lot of milk in there, so that's, he could probably get something if he tried. <laughs> like what? What's he through? Hey, Paris detects Paris. So um, when people ask like, "Well, she's trained for," I put it in the joke because um, she's she's an ESA for her daughter and her anxiety. And so I joke that um, she detects anxiety like a seizure dog detects seizures. Not to make light of seizures, but um, my daughter's her our daughter's anxiety is so bad that. Um, Paris recognizes it almost like before our daughter does, and um, I can't. I just can't believe the difference that the Cavaliers have made for our kids and just in general. They're amazing. Or they are amazing. Um, they're an amazing breed of dog. Yeah, that way. Let her in, let her through, let her through. Let her through. Remy. All right, so this is Remy. She's just, she's another, another mama dog of ours that we're raising. She's not had any litters yet. Uh, she's not quite old enough.
Do you want to go in the kitchen?
See your babies for a bit, huh? Lay down with them.
Oh, Daniel's thing with a banner. It's it's very festive for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, it's our plan. So we're gonna leave that up. What we're gonna have to leave that up for children's we're hoping her to see. Yeah. This is perfect. No exclamation. Just a statement of fact. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to call up
Good boy, Blue. Good boy, Blue. Yeah. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Triple body. Hey, Blue. Nice and warm spot over here. Is there a, is there a Roman? Is there a Roman? Hey,
Yeah. Why does the grandma last night's dress or you tell me he doesn't use it because he doesn't have to keep the drawers where they
Oh, geez, man, they scare me. Yeah, they didn't stick in that corner because of the, the vent. Oh, I got distracted. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. Another chat gets disconnected. Usually the whole thing's about to blow. Yeah. yeah. Well, my ability is everything I can. Okay. I think we'll be right there, too. Actually, how about you guys go potty? It's been a minute. I know I'm going to use one sleep, but I'm going to wakey wakey and go potty. You going to go potty, buddy? You just weren't in there for very long. <laughs> Oh, hi there, Chicky. Shalini, good morning. I guess good afternoon. And Susan, nice to see you. Happy birthday to you, Susan. I don't, I don't know when you sent that, so if you're still on, happy birthday to you. If I see you, in the, if I see you again, I'll try to I'll try to remember.
Hop on now. Hop on, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Hop on.
have an idea. There is a listing of the balloon matching. So you can go and draw it up.
I didn't even notice this. Pom Pom, still awake. Maybe that goes potty or something. Good girl, Pom Pom. There you go, you're figuring it out.
Coats go, dude. Coats or backpacks, man. Um, I don't want to get it.
No, it's not that cat, it's because you turned 40. <laughs> I turned 40. <laughs> yeah, all the, none of the dogs are right next to you. <laughs>
No, that one has not come. Yeah, I got that. It looks like the birthday one. So, um, did you did you send them on the same day?
สงคราม
to see. Come on. Come on.
sorry.
Oh, it's not that bad. You have to be prepared for like a tornado storm. Oh, it's so it's such a shame you guys can't see that. They were so cute. Oh, okay. I don't know why they got turned. 
I'm sorry about that. Did you go potty, Mr. Lou? Oh, your cord is hitting Missy. me so pretty. Missy, come on. Missy. Missy causes problems. She wants to run the show. Missy is like the most alpha dog in the pack, so she, he, like, we call her the traffic director because um, whenever we're like to have the dogs move, moving them between rooms or hauling them around, she usually kind of comes about halfway up and then she barks at them and directs them. Come on, come on. Come on. You're doing such a good job. You're doing such a good job. Is that too loud, you babies? Oh my god, lamb shop in the way. Lamb shop in the way. Nobody can see your baby. Hi, buddy. Well, we can't even see Roman. Roman's really super easy to move when he's sleeping because he is so chill. Hi, my friend Hey, Lou, you want to come up? You want to come up? <laughs> Papa's like, I want to come up. Come on, Lou. There's my friend for you. Come on. Where are you going, Papa? Whoa, what is going on upstairs? Good boy, Blue. Good boy. Good go potty. Oh, he really had to go. Can you go potty, Roman? Can you go potty? Can you go potty for me? Go potty. Go potty. Go potty, Roman. Mom will get All right. You guys are trying to know that. Oh, oh, Jean, hi. Merry Christmas to you, too. What in the way? Oh yes, everybody's great. It's actually Drew's 40th birthday today, so he's having, he's like half midlife crisis and half like, um, 
half like having a good day. So we gave him some presents and Well, are you seeing partridge in a pear tree? So loud, Bella. Bella, not so loud. Shoot, Drew, did we had a phone call today. I think. I'll have to check. Huh. Her husband also created this really good thing. Aww. <laughs> Oh, Fiorella, thank you. That was a very, that was a very nice message. Bella, <laughs> please. She loves to throw things. Bella, please stop. to make room for Christmas Mama. present please. Bella, this is mommy. You gotta clean up some of your toys to make room for Christmas presents. I'm pretty sure that this was You're gonna be getting toys, aren't you? Don't you want toys for Christmas? Don't you want toys for Christmas? You need to start picking things up and keeping it clean. Oh, 
know what happened. Mischievous, definitely Roman. Roman it gets into a lot. Blue is much more like oh, oh, he's almost so seems like a little more like afraid of getting hurt. I win. I'm not playing. Oh, I hope you're not alone on Christmas, Jean. We'll be here on Christmas. We'll be live on Christmas, so we'll be here if you're alone. We'll be around. And we, we're pretty boring. We don't do anything or go anywhere to see anybody. Our family's all really far away. Like really far. Um, and so it's just, it's so difficult. And then we also have um, visitation schedules for the kids that we kind of got to work around. And so it's just too difficult to plan holidays with family. And so we just do Christmas like here at home, just us and the kids. In fact, Haley will be with her her dad, and so it'll just be us and Bradley and Bella on Christmas Day. It's hard. You know what I'm late? So we'll be you. Oh, 
angle already. Too small. Nobody should be alone on Christmas. Oh, Papa. Okay, Papa. Bradley, Bradley, you need to walk normally and safely if you're holding a puppy. Thank you. Don't worry, Papa. He's safe. Oh, good. 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 Oh, Guys, why don't you do that in the basement? Yeah, Kids. Hi. Yeah, time to take that. Well, I got her. I'm fine. No. She's basement. Take those upstairs. Okay. Or the upstairs. I'm fine. And don't, no. No more sack races. We made a mess over here. Do you want out or do you want me in? Do you want out or do you want it? Do you want me in? Don't mean stop licking her privates. On Jean, thank you. We, I, we try, we, we try to cheer. We try. Um, I think after ever after having Matthew, we learned a lot about appreciating what we have and what we don't. But it can be difficult day to day, as you can imagine. Give me Papa. Oh. 
Oh, gross. Hi, Luke. I'm sorry, I'm feeling this way. There it is. Alrighty. Now we can get comfortable. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Lou? What's up, Lou? She's got a knack for slipping her tongue right between your lips. You are such a sticker. You are such a finger. <laughs> nice. Someone asked who's more mischievous. Roman's more mischievous, but Blue is learning how to use his teeth to inflict pain. I don't know, getting a slip slip from Daisy when she had her babies. Such a good girl. Good thing. No more time. Paris. Paris is doing great, actually. She's um, she's eleven days out. Uh, her belly is growing very quickly. Um, she's handling pregnancy really, really well. She's not um, she's not like miserable and 
she's still playing and having fun. Uh, and she's very happy. She It seems like her maternal instincts are already kind of kicking in because she's so interested in, in these guys. Um, and she also has like a she has a, a way with them that is kind of unusual for a, a dog that hasn't had puppies before. And so um, I think she's going to She's gonna. It's gonna come really naturally to her. Yeah, I was mean because I was gonna mean to take your mom outside. I know you can always sit in my lap. You can always sit in my lap. I mean to get out and take your mom outside. Or maybe she just wanted to go out my lap. <laughs> Is that what it was? Is that why you're circling me? Puppies get on your attention. Oh, Purella, it's funny you mentioned that because I was thinking about this earlier um, this morning when I was out here at like 8 30 in the morning, like after they'd woken up, but not like too late into the morning. They were wiped out, and they should have been awake. And I was thinking, like, I better, I should go back and through and watch the footage and see what they were doing all night because they were, they were, they were out cold. Um, and I had swapped the stream over. I'd been out here to swap the stream over, and they had been awake. But um, unfortunately, when we, unfortunately, when we, the stream had been going long enough that we ended up losing the footage. That's that would have been during those hours because they cut off everything after after like 12 hours i think mama needs to go potty let's go potty i kind of the strings of the banner kind of like had a little Catch up and come show show people how you're doing. Wait, is somebody here to play with him? He is such a playful puppy, Roman. <laughs> He's like, oh, there is, there is, there is something. You're such a good girl. Can you play with a lot and pop over the Can you just go to sleep? <laughs> Pom Pom is very prissy about her sleeping arrangements. She hated when they were really little and she didn't get to have all the blankets because she's used to having big plush bedding and blankets. And so she did not really care for that. You might remember we um, when they were on that brown, that brown like crate pad, she would every so often she would start digging it up and like roughing it up trying to make a bed. And then the puppies would go flying. That's a piece of poo, Roman. Oh, good boy, good boy, buddy. Good buddy, Roman. Good boy. Don't, no, don't. She does not want you at her nipples. Oh, I don't eat food in the pan. And so, like in human pregnancy, drop gestation is about 
nine weeks, and so it translates pretty well. Um, Paris is um, so Paris is seven and a half weeks, so seven and a half months. Her tail makes a nice little What is it? He's got a voice on him, doesn't he? I knew you were up to something. They're never that tired at 8 30 in the morning. They are never that tired. They're usually up doing this. I'm usually wondering what's taking me a year so long to get rolling. You're a good girl, Paris. You can eat all the food you want. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna wager eight puppies. I think it's I think it's a lot. First I was saying six, and then I was saying seven. Um, with first pregnancy, it's just like with people, just like with people, they're their musculature, their skin, everything's tighter and held in, um, haven't been pulled out and loosened before. So it takes longer and it takes more to really pop out and show. Um, and pop on, for instance, she only had three in there. And so um, she never really, she got like kind of chubby, but she never got this big. Um, she never blew up like this. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Um, she had three. And then, um, geez, Daisy and Robin. Can I compare? They had six. Oh, they had seven and seven and six. Seven and six or seven and seven. I can't remember. You're such a good girl, Paris. Yeah, you're the girl. You want to get out of the bathroom and come in my lap? Or you want to help? Okay. She's used to being picked up. My daughter always picks her up. So she's used to everybody doing everything for her. Come here. It's hard to do that when you're so big. You're such a good girl. Oh, I can feel a moving. Oh, they're kickies. Yes, that's why you're getting cranky. You got puppies on the inside, you got puppies on the outside. I get you. Now I get it. That's awesome. I think we're going to do it. I'm going to do it on my
Can you dab? Yeah. You can, we can feel Paris's puppies kick now. The puppies are over here kicking. Aww. I just wanted to, I just saw your cop Carol about Roman. Robin was big too. Robin did get really, really big. Did you just piddle? Man, they pee so often. They have peed like Luke himself has probably peed about four times since I've been in here in the last like an hour. So we always try to remind people when they go home at eight weeks that it was just a few weeks ago that they had to pee every 15 minutes. And so we always want to make sure that they get lots of bathroom breaks. Tissue right over here. Soak that up. Oh, here it is. What's up? I'm going to clean up the blue puddle. Oh, Paris, people don't want to see up your stuff. Oh, you did have to poop. I was right. Right, you did have to poop. Aw, Paris. Are you playing? Or do you want to be rescued? Which is it? No, oh, man. Play nice, buddy. alone. She does not want your sharp toothies on her poor little nipples. Right, Paris? Yeah. I feel you there. You're such a good girl, Paris. Are you done seeing them? I'm not, I can't tell what you want for me. I can tell you want out. What do you want? You want out? I think you want out. Yeah. There, how's that? You're happy out?
slow down, Remy. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> Remy is Blue's favorite. Oh, when she comes out, I didn't have so long. She was so excited to see her. Don't eat Pom Pom's food. Paris gets two because she's pregnant. You don't get two because you're not pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I know Remy is your favorite. He was so excited when he saw her. He started he started whining for her. And she was looking right at him when I went to put her in and um, she went to say I don't want Sometimes you just gotta get up in there. Oh, his little tail's wagging. Blue loves you. No, this is uh Remy. I actually just pulled Paris out. Darn it. Here, Paris didn't want to really be in here for long. Um, she was kind of impatient with them, but I think it's just her getting more and more pregnant. Uh, what? She was getting kind of impatient with them, but I think it's just because it was her pregnancy. Like, Roman was trying to nurse. Remy, no, don't tear up the pen. Um, so I, I didn't um, leave her in for long because she was like kind of crawling in my lap almost like she was trying to get away. No. No. I don't know what you sniff, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it for you. <coughs> Her dogs smell imaginary things and coaches and. She looks a lot like Paris, um, like on her body. She doesn't look like Paris on the face, but the rest of her looks a lot like Paris. Um, but they're not related, like Paris and Pompomar. They were two from two completely different breeders. Right. Oh. 
see the other dogs, all the other mama dogs, um, come in and groom them. They clean their private parts, they lick their faces, they do all the mom stuff. Remy doesn't do that stuff. Remy comes in and just plays. And so I think that's what they really feel. Puppies really like our Remy. And I think the reason for that is because um, we had a litter on the ground when we brought Remy home. And we just kind of, we put her with them to play. She was a puppy, we put her in the puppy bed. Um, and we just kind of have always had puppies. Can I pick up Remy? Um, what is it, puppies? Because we raised her. And so she doesn't really kind of, like, she doesn't. Doesn't really um, take on a like a maternal sort of role. She's just playing. Yeah, she helps socialize. Will that change when she has puppies? Probably. Yeah. When she has puppies, it'll like start and it'll unlock a. It'll unlock her with their own things. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Look. Look at him. I know. He's, he's such a snuggler. I think Sips Blue is, would really like to play with you. Except his blue eyes make it make it look like he's like his eyes are super wide. It's just like the the camera can't see the like keys. I think when I'm in here, Remy just wants to snuggle. But when I'm not in here, she wants to play with them. Go play, Remy. You wanted to play. Go play. Go play. And as soon as he saw Remy, Blue just started going nuts. He started crying in and he like, you know, got all excited with his paws. And then I brought her over and I put her down and she looked at him and then be like for Roman. And he was just like, oh, yeah. It was, oh. It was so sad. <laughs> it was all. She's still learning manners. I take it you're ready to come out. Those two are going to snuggle up in the corner. We're going to like completely invisible. I guess she can have that. Oh, I don't. Is you right? Are you? 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 Bradley, 
here. There we go. That's good. Thank you. 
Did, did you get a big end end? Oh, Jane, I hope you're still on. I was going to um, make sure you knew. Uh, we don't want anybody to be alone on Christmas. Uh, Drew and I are such homebodies as it is. Um, we don't go anywhere for Christmas and we're gonna be here and we're still gonna have the puppies live. We're still gonna be here doing our thing. So we would be happy to see you on Christmas. You'd actually be honored if you, um, if we saw you on Christmas, if you stopped by, so. We will be here and would love to see you if, um, if uh, you're gonna be. Alone. We don't want anybody to be alone on Christmas, do we? No, we don't want to be alone. We don't want to be alone. Yeah. Yeah. You just got abandoned by the puppies. They always want to play with you. And they just they pooped out. They pooped out. Pooped. <laughs> you can tell that Remy is, she's still growing out of the puppy. She's still growing out of the puppy still. <laughs> she just acts like a big puppy. Pretty girl. You are a pretty girl. You want to breed her with um, Macchiato, which it won't be her first litter. Well, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Because he's too young, he still hasn't had a litter. He hasn't had a father litter yet. He hasn't made it before. So um, I don't think he will have fathered one by the time she has her first. But we do want to, we um, when we got her, um, we thought she would go, she would pair really nicely with Macchiato. He's our black and tan, Macchiato. He's our black and tan dog. He's a little snot sometimes. Look at me, a little snot. Oh, and Remy is first in contact with 
contacts for me is um, Paris is our 12 year old daughter's ESA dog, emotional sport animal. Um, and Remy is Bradley's. Uh, Bradley's is it's not as serious, it's a little less official, I guess. Just um, because he's only nine. But he did do a good job of potty training her. He helped potty train her um, in his bedroom, no less. I mean, your nails do look. Did Remy have her dew claws removed? No. Drew? I don't think Remy has dew claws. I didn't know this. I don't remember this. Aww. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have had him take it off. I wouldn't have had him take it off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. Really wore out those boys. Oh yeah, Roman is okay. So the the shaking you describe, uh, you're not. Yeah, we call it the shakes. Um, when they get overwhelmed, um, like overstimulated by anything, really, um, that happens to them. Where they'll just kind of tremble for a while. Um, common times that it happens are when um, when they've been eating puppy food, just because that's a little less stressful on their system. Sorry. Um, <sighs> eating in general, but then like there's mental stress, like with, they had Paris in here and then Remy in here. And so like, that's, that's a lot of stimuli, not that it's stressful in the sense that it's um, like anxiety or worry, not in that sort of sense, but just stress in the sense that um, it's too much stimuli and their brains are just, their brains are just, you know, um, bush. You know how that, yeah, that is like when you're studying for school um, and you've studied too much and you just nothing is processing anymore. Um, that's kind of like they have like a system overload. Um, it happens too when we have families over, and uh, it, it's interesting. It we feel really bad because a lot of times the puppies would be real happy to see their families and be playing. And after a while, though, the this all the in, all that stimuli input um, with the different toys, with the different faces, the different voices, and just all the different things are taking in. Um, it's just kind of an overload and they just start shutting down and they kind of almost turn a little inward and they'll shake. And so we just call it the shakes. And then when they get the shakes, we, whatever it is they're doing, if they're eating or if, if we have Remy in the pen, um, then we just kind of end whatever it is we're doing with them. So that they can relax and. Can I hold a Roman is a lot to have over him, so is Blue. I've never held a pet of this. I'm so glad that your son won't be there for Christmas, too, by the way, Jean. I was just talking to Drew, um, mentioning to him that, uh, 
uh, I remember you telling us that your family was all real far away. So I'm really happy to hear that this is family get this. Yeah, they get the shapes. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I don't really know an actual reason why. Or it's just something we've noticed. Um, they don't seem to stop harmful or anything. And they recover from it okay. And like the more exposure they have to whatever it is that is causing the shapes, um, the less it happens. I can't. Bradley, bring the puppy back so that you can. Oh, yeah. If it comes to you, then then we're going to do it, Dad. Roman never has a difficult time getting cozy. Sweet. I can't let him go. He's way too sweet. Please. He's such an angel. Please. He's such an angel. Please. I can't read. <laughs> My arm's too fast. It's probably borderline unhealthy. I want to hold him so bad. He's resting way too peacefully. So is they really, They're really busy eating, 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 so they're not pooped. Please? Um, look, let them take a nap and then um, attend to it. It's in the way. Mm. Hold, hold on to that. Eh? You're going to hang out living room, right? Mm. Yeah. I have a book. I got to keep them warm. Yeah, so um, give them an hour and then you can hold them at eight. Yeah. I don't think so. Remy and Fair is really more than loud. Oh, I can't wait for Paris' puppies. I'm so excited for them. I'm so excited to have little babies again. Oh, is there a um, If they're, um, this is like the third time I'm making this announcement. So if you've heard it again, I'm sorry. If you've heard it already, I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, 
but very long story short, Drew and I were hoping we might be able to find a couple extra hands that would be willing to moderate the live chats um, on our channel. Um, kind of coming up right now because we had Harris's live stream in mind. Um, the delivery live streams are usually really, really busy. The chat is really busy. And so we get a lot of spam. We get a lot of um, the X-rated content. Um, we usually get a lot more of the trolls um, during the delivery live streams. And then uh, the other issue is that with it being Harris's first litter, the first couple of hours, Drew and I are going to be probably really busy. Um, I was really, really distracted with Paris trying to help her. And while we'll be able to read comments and answer questions, we it just it'll be a kind of a lot to be cleaning up the chat at the same time. So, um, and we have Heather as a moderator. She's amazing. I'm sure many of you know Heather. Um, but it's still a lot to put on Heather, and I feel terrible to be like, hey. Paris is due the 30th. Hope you're ready. Um, and so we did have one volunteer. Lori is going to be a moderator. Lori out. Um, she's been around for a while. I'm sure many of you are familiar with her. Um, and so we just ask that you're a cool person and that you like puppies. And yeah, yeah be, cool. be cool and like puppies. Um, but we had Paris's delivery stream kind of in mind mostly because it's just it's so busy, um, or like it runs so quickly. But it's not to say that you need to be there the whole time or that um, that we have any expectations. It's more like um, if you plan to watch or if you plan to be there for it, and you're willing to kind of be a voice of reason, um, whether it's like settling disputes or determining what to, whether to delete something or, or ban somebody, um, it would be really helpful. We've set up filters for the, the chats with um, the different keywords, and I don't know how so much stuff slips through because, I mean, we've put in like just about every keyword you can think of, and somehow it still slips through. So, um, if anybody would be willing to help, we'd really appreciate it. I think Heather would really appreciate it. Um, and just any help is appreciated. By no means do we expect you to sit through a nice hour delivery and moderate the whole thing. Just like kind of if you're popping by and you see some spam or some trolls that need the boot. I wish YouTube had like a better messaging way. If you want to get a hold of us without like saying it in the chat, hi Lori, Lori's here. Um, if uh, if you want to contact us without speaking up in the chat, you can um, you can email us at redbarncavaliers at gmail dot com. Um, you can also find my phone number on the available to these page on our website. You could also, another easy way is you could also leave a comment on, on one of our on videos. Is that Pom Pom? I think that's Mama. I think that's Mama. There's the mummy wearing here. Just 
I'm gonna have to restart this soon. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm taking it. 